Hello, my friends. I'm Pastor Doug, and it's my joy to visit with you again. Before I begin my devotion today, I just want to share a couple personal updates. I first of all want to share a real joy with you. Dee's doing really well, and uh, today completes our first week of cardio rehab. Saturday, it'll be eight weeks since her heart surgery, and she's come a long way. We are so grateful uh, for her progress and healing, and thank God every day uh, as she just continues to make progress. Also want to thank you for your prayers for my sister, Terry, and ask you to continue to keep her in your prayers. Um, she's had many appointments since last week, and uh, because of her situation, they've decided to do chemotherapy before her surgery. So please keep Terry and Bill in your prayers um, and all of her care team there at the Hershey Medical Center. And we'll keep you posted from time to time on how things are going uh, with her treatments. I read in a recent writing by Rick Warren, he said, courageous people resolve conflict. Now, when I when I saw that, it made me stop what I was doing and read what he had to say. And it really made sense to me. I don't know how you are with conflict, but when I was younger, I just wasn't very good at dealing with conflict. And it took me a long time to really understand that unresolved conflict doesn't go away. In fact, most times it just gets worse. So I needed to claim for myself 2 Timothy chapter 1, verse 7, that says, God has not given us a spirit of fear and timidity, but of power, love, and self-discipline. My friends, with God's help, I found courage to deal with difficult situations and had some really good outcomes. Because when we deal with conflict, when we honestly, sincerely listen to each other, we can resolve the differences and, and deal with the issues before us. You know, I can remember one particular time when our, there was a church that I was serving and we decided to adjust worship times. There was a couple that wasn't there when that decision was made. They had been traveling and out of town. And when they returned, they made sure they got a hold of me quickly to share their displeasure with the decision that had been made. And so we decided to sit down and talk. You know what we did as we listened to each other? We realized that there was a compromise and a need that was going unmet. And so we made the change that had been planned. We went with that new time. But we also added an early service because there was a lot of folks that wanted to do other things uh, that allowed, um, could be permitted as we had this extra service at the beginning of the morning. And it was because we sat down and talked, because we listened to each other, that we actually came out with a better plan that addressed the needs of everyone. You know, it's so much better when we don't let things fast fester because when we let things faster, experience tells us that the problem will normally get worse. But you know, when you think about it, unresolved conflict impacts more than just the involved party. In fact, I believe it impacts our walk with God. How can we be mad at someone, distracted, frustrated, and still think that we can have a clear connection with God? 1 John 4.20 says, if someone says, I love God, but hates a fellow believer, that person is a liar. But you know who really, really is impacted the most with unresolved conflict? It's each of us. It harms us. You know, I know from personal experience that when I failed to resolve conflict, in that time that that, that, that conflict remains unresolved, I'm not happy. I'm tired. If it's bad enough, I don't sleep well. I'm on edge. I'm just not at my best. And the longer it festers, it can even impact my, it can even impact my mental, emotional, and physical health. And you've experienced it too, I'm sure. We can, it, when we have unresolved conflict, it can impact our relationships with family and friends and coworkers who have absolutely nothing to do with the conflict kind of like a cancer growing inside of us. So my friends, today I just wanna kind of remind you of something we kind of all know, but we need to be reminded of it. And so turn to God, 
Ask God to give you the courage and the help you need to deal with any unresolved issues in your life. God will provide what you need. He'll give you the strength and the love to resolve the conflict and bring healing to your relationships. Remember what 2 Timothy 1.7 says, God has not given us a spirit of fear and timidity, but of power, love, and self-discipline. Let's resolve those conflicts, deal with those issues, and have healthy relationships. Amen. Well, some things that I want to remind you of uh, about Wesley Church and some things that are coming up. Last Sunday, we had our very first family reunion gathering. It was an incredibly positive time as we reconnected with each other. We shared some information. There was a lot of creative ideas that were shared to help Wesley Church move forward. We're going to do it again this Sunday afternoon at 3 p.m. Join your Wesley family for a time of fellowship, a chance to reconnect with each other, and to celebrate the good we've accomplished, to share the hopes that we have for a brighter future, and just to hear about how things are going and some of the challenges we're facing and how we're planning on dealing with those. Uh, we'll be gathering outside of the NPR and the multi-purpose room. Uh, remember to bring your chair and uh, please RSVP to the office today. I'm excited. We're going to do something different this summer. Next Sunday, we're going to move our worship service, our in-person worship service outside, weather permitting. We'll hold our service outside uh, the multi-purpose room. We remind you to bring a chair. Uh, and in case of inclement weather over the summer, we'll move inside the NPR but um, we want to have everyone uh, feel comfortable and let us uh, take our mask off outside and just really enjoy being together and doing something a little more informal and relaxed uh, for the summer months. Uh, join us next Sunday uh, as we gather outside for uh, the summer uh, worship time. Also, uh, we're, we are excited. Uh, VBS uh, registrations continue to rise. Uh, VBS is being held July 18th through the 22nd in the evening from 6 to 8 p.m. Uh, you can register at our website at www.wesleyum.org. Uh, we'll you can register children ages 3 through 5th grade. And uh, all children are welcome. And we hope you'll get your children registered uh, today. Uh, we're looking forward to that special time with them. Well, I thank you for uh, this time that we've shared together. Let's close out our time together with a word of prayer. Let us pray. Loving God, help us to trust your word and to be courageous people that resolve conflict. You know, it's not about being right, but resolving our issues and healing relationships. With your help, we can do this. We ask all this in Jesus' name. Amen. Oh, thank you, my friends, for visiting with me. I always enjoy our time together, and we'll talk again soon. May the peace of God be with you. Stay strong and stay safe.